Now we are only making marine tabu, marine marine tabu. Lo lo, only we find them say they make that fish. Mo we got long thinking, long make them long help them long community. Help them community. Chief. Chief. Around the volcanic islands of Vanuatu, lava rocks mingle with young coral growth, thriving in the clear Pacific waters. Agriculture is the main activity of this Melanesian community, with its strong ties to the land. But in Vanuatu, the sea is all around, sustaining precious biodiversity in coral reefs, the gardens of the sea, playing a key role in the islanders' daily food supply. The role of the ocean as a food source is even more important in Solomon Islands. With his homemade equipment, this spear fisherman dives every day to put food on the family table, pushing his lungs to the limit. These colourful fish, under constant fishing pressure, provide the protein which he would otherwise have to buy from the local store. Traditionally, tabu areas allowed the fish to reproduce and grow before yielding a rich harvest. After a period of neglect, these management methods are now coming back into favour with communities who rely on the lagoon for 70% of their daily protein intake. Protected marine areas are proving increasingly successful, but what is their true scientific and economic impact? Nico, ouais. quel est le principe de ton suivi halieutique ici Eric Kluwer, the CRISP program coordinator, is supervising Nicolas Pascal in his work. C'est les premiers résultats sur la productivité de la pêche. Donc là, c'est le nombre de kilos qui sont pêchés par heure ouais. dans chaque village. Donc là, par exemple, un village qui a une réserve marine, proche de la réserve, pêche 8-9 kilos par heure. Euh, tandis que dès qu'on s'éloigne de la réserve, on tombe sur du 3-4 kilos. Et il y a un village qui n'a pas de réserve marine et aux alentours de 3 kilos. To get his results, Nicholas organizes test fishing trips every week with the help of village fishermen. You want them to close the conservation area, so you say choose place you want them? How much time? One hour? Long conservation area? The principle is to compare catches in the two villages which have a protected area with two others without no-take zones. A net is set at the same location each time and the fish are chased into the net. The catches are brought ashore and weighed for the purpose of scientific comparison between the various sites. But protected marine areas do more than just increase harvests. They also help develop ecotourism. In Vanuatu, lots of people are opening guest houses to cater for visitors. When tourists are coming to snorkel in the marine protected area, uh, we have um, three parts for the money coming in. Uh, about, uh, I have a part of it. Uh, another part goes to the community. And then the third part of it goes to the environment committee of the community. This money is reinvested in the upkeep of the reserve, where turtles swim in safety as an ecotourism asset. These marine areas have direct positive effects, but also involve restrictions that are offset by CRISP through new reef-based economic activities. They are doing uh, aquaculture, which is a viable means of coral farming. This is because uh, by introducing MPA or marine protected area, one way of alternative to livelihood is by doing coral farming. Basically, it's not very high price, but uh, a small value of $7 per pieces. And uh, it varies on a owner, depends on a exporter. The coral farmer sometimes sells around up to 20 to 60 species in a, in a week. We save about uh, $100 per month times by 12. So roughly in an annual profit, we should say $1,200. This sustainable alternative technique involving coral farming has other merits too. The guys here, uh, John and Richard, that will stop them from dynamiting fishing and 
over harvesting of coral like wild harvest. So that will maximize the impact of coral within our areas, especially in San Playa and Longana area, which is have or under the community and coastal program for the marine protected area or tabu sites. The coral head is split into sprigs, which are planted onto a concrete disc. It takes about a year for the cuttings to grow to a height of about 10 centimeters. They are then sold to traders in the capital Honiara for export to the international aquarium market. The first stage in the journey is a depot, so as to benefit from economies of scale. We have farmers scattered throughout on the different islands which are fairly uh, scattered about and the job of the depot is to collect, to pack and send off to Honiara to the exporter the products of the farmers. Packed into ice boxes, these precious cargoes are taken by boat to the local airstrip and then air freighted to the United States. As well as sustaining these commercially valuable natural organisms, coral reefs also play an important part as natural barriers against the ocean swell. This protective role is worth millions of dollars in the broader economic context. Humankind must learn how to fully capitalize on their true potential.